People who are close to somebody who's radicalizing to violence are ideally placed to notice some changes or early warning signs that somebody might be considering violent action to harm others and sometimes themselves. And this means that these are also the best people to help intervene early before greater harms can happen. So when we did our study, both in Australia and then in the United Kingdom, we were able to identify three different kind of phasing pathways that people use when they're reporting. And we call these the local train, the express train, and the local bus reporting pathways. The local train pathway basically involves a staged process of uh, the informal sharing of concerns, perhaps with friends or trusted uh, community figures, doing some background research, support-seeking behavior, and then moving towards disclosure to authorities. The express train, which is rarer, is when people have a concern or they have information that they think, I've really got to say something, and they almost immediately go straight to the authorities without going through some of those preliminary steps that people on the local train pathway do. Finally, there's the local bus pathway. That is more of a stop-start process that can involve interruptions or pauses on the way to reporting, and it takes quite a lot longer for them to feel that they have the confidence or the trust to contact authorities with their concerns. Now, we know from prior investigations that, in fact, people have come forward, but nobody had ever inquired as to what that experience was like or the challenges that involved when people did come forward, especially in terms of whether they were supported after disclosing the information they had to share. Now, what we learned was that there is a high degree of willingness amongst people in communities to help avert harm and prevent damage both to those they love and to the broader community. And that's a really positive sign of social cohesion and social responsibility. We need to intervene as early as possible to be able to help those who might be heading down a path of extremist violence and also protect our families and communities from harm. And that means understanding the vital role of people close to someone in this situation and doing everything that we can to help and support them in the choices that they make about assisting that person and preventing even greater harms from occurring.